Welcome to Inside the Courtroom. I'm Hallie Murrow. We're here with Greg McCollum, Managing Partner at the Complete Legal Defense Team. Greg, it's good to see you. It's good to see you, Hallie. It's good to be on. You have been practicing for over 30 years. You've seen and dealt with every type of crime imaginable. Based on your actual experience, should parents be worried that their kids will be abducted by strangers? The, you know, the short answer is no. Uh, we don't see a lot of situations where strangers abduct children. When you see Amber Alerts and those kind of things, those are usually uh, parents who are divorced or, or have children in common and there's a court order and the, the one parent is supposed to bring the child back at a particular time and for whatever reason, the parent's frustration or whatever, uh, they don't. And so they, quote, leave with the child and they're going somewhere else and so that triggers an Amber Alert because technically that child now is a missing person. Uh, in terms of what parents should be concerned about, it's just the normal things. Nothing's really changed. You know, you don't want your children uh, talking to strangers, literally. You don't want your children to get in somebody's car. Uh, you want your children to stay with their friends, that sort of thing. Um, usually the, the abductions that, that happen, unfortunately, things do happen. Uh, but from our experience, those things are exceedingly rare. Uh, that's one of the things that when I became a, a, a prosecutor and then a defense attorney, it made me relax a lot because the crime that you perceive as going on is not nearly as bad as what you think. Uh, most people, you know, are safe and things that happen are usually occurring with someone that, that they know. Certainly good to hear. I think all of our hearts drop when we see an Amber Alert. Guys, if you'd like more information, you can certainly visit completelegaldefenseteam.com.